here's another example. Look at this particular function that's being plotted. 3 sine 2x, 3 is the amplitude of the wave. Look, and that comes to 3 on here. 2x means that within a whole period of 2 pi, we've got two waves. So hopefully you sort of recognise that that's what the function would look like. 3 sine 2x. And if this is 2 pi, two complete waves within 2 pi, then I can mark on here 3 pi over 2 pi, pi over 2. So I, I know a lot about the function just by looking at it. I could sketch it at a pinch if I was asked to. Okay? And now what I'm after here is the integral between naught and pi over 2, between naught and pi over 2, i.e. I'm finding the area between naught and pi over 2. So that's how I'd show it. And how do we do it? Exactly the same way as we just did the previous example. We integrate it and then we put in the limits. But this time we're going to ignore C. Something you really have to be careful in trigonometric functions about is what? When I put the limits in, what have I got to be careful of? On the calculator. Right, yep. Yeah. We're working in radians. This tells me that the angles in this function are being measured in radians, and almost invariably it will be radians. And so check your calculators in radians when you come to put the values in. OK, let's have a look at it then and see what we get. So let's integrate it. So from our table of integrals, we can see that this equals sine becomes minus cos, and the 2 comes out and goes underneath. So we get minus 3 over 2 cos 2x. Normally I'd put plus c, but because it's a definite integral, I just leave it like that. So it's a definite integral, so I put a square bracket round it and put line, my limits in, naught and pi over 2. What's going to change in this is x, which is pi over 2 or naught. And that's going to change this part of the function. So I'm going to put in the pi over 2, work out what the cos of 2 times pi over 2 is, and then times that answer by minus 3 over 2. And then I'm going to work out what the cos of 0 is, and times that answer by minus 3 over 2. So actually, that minus 3 over 2 is common to both terms. Any constant that when you've done your integral could actually come outside the bracket. If you left it in, you get the same answer, but if you take it out, it's a bit more efficient, saves you a bit of time. So you could, it's not essential, but you could at this stage take the minus 3 over 2 outside the bracket, leaving you just cos 2x inside the bracket between naught and pi over 2. One of the dangers of doing that is you're going to go ahead and carry on and work out what the cos of 2x is and put those limits in and then forget at the end to multiply your answer by minus 3 over 2. So, you know, beware. If I were to do that, I'd leave that minus 3 over 2 outside that square bracket so I didn't forget. In other words, I'd write this equals minus 3 over 2 times, and now I'm going to put my limits in, curly brackets, cos of 2 pi over 2 is just pi, minus cos of 0. So now calculator out, minus 3 over 2, brackets, cos of pi, is and cos of zero. Right. Now we've got to be a little bit careful of signs, haven't we? Minus one, minus one, minus two.
and minus 3 over 2 times minus 2, the 2 is effectively cancelled, minus times a minus is a plus, so this equals 3. And that's the area underneath the curve, answers 3. So answers 3, let's just look back a sec though at this. We have here a situation where if we look at this cosine function here, if I have in my mind a cosine function, then I know that that's 2 pi and that's 1. If, if I was plotting cos x, that's what it would look like. So actually, you really don't need a calculator for this part of the question. Of course, in an exam, I'd always use a calculator just to make sure I had it. But I knew that the cos of pi was going to be minus 1, because if you look at this function here, if that's naught and that's 2 pi, then this must be pi, and that's minus 1. So cos of pi is minus 1. Cos of 0, there's cos of 0, it's just 1. So that's why they come out to be nice, easy numbers. Okay. <coughs>